made it back over to my buddy's Dan's. This is going to be one of my last uh, on-site uh, shopping videos for a bit. I'm going to be working at the warehouse, it looks like, for a while. I like this bulldog. Um, we'll see what else... Uh, what else we could find here though i know he's got a lot of uh a lot of stuff some scarves he's talking about he wants to have a estate sale in the next week or so but we'll see how that that happens um definitely is uh gonna be very 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 interesting with flea market situations coming up uh, the best thing is we have so much craft stuff. I took, uh, my daughter book shopping today. So, yeah, always trying to find, I kind of like this tablecloth. He's, he moved a lot of the boxes that were down here last time. So there's all a lot of new stuff. Silver plate. That's a nice heavy tray. A lot of people like this nun last time. I don't know why. She definitely has scary eyes. They just canceled my uh, kids' school today, so I'll have uh, them for a long while. They uh, they were pretty up happy about that one, though. It sounds like they'll go back in in. Uh, In a few weeks, but they're not sure. That kind of that's U.S. Coast Guard. I always like these old photos. Vitamixer. figure out what that was. Got some Mickey Mouse. Really like this shell cutaway. That's pretty cool. From the Philippines, but still just uh, I don't need that yet. I do like it for the scientific specimen it is. He's got this guy looks pretty cool. It's got a big hairline crack, but it looks like like a rook wood or something. Christmas box. What's this one though? Almost. The th main thing I was looking for today was crafting stuff for the kids since they're going to be home. If I could find that today or a collection of that. are all uh, outdoor lights. Actually, they're kind of nice. 
four or five of those. For one thing, I might leave with another. But I think that's how it always works when you go shopping. Nice early ET tray. Alright, this is a box I haven't looked at. has some weight so hopefully there's something fun inside. Siam brass silverware. That's kind of cool. Oh, is this what I think it is? Uh, it's just a it's a newer clock. I thought it was like an older German clock. I'm going to put that on the shelf. This looks like a... Almost looks like a Ben Franklin, but it's not. I'm not sure who that is. It is heavy, though. It feels like it's a, a bronze... Not sure. Put that up there with the clock. Right. So maybe there's some craft stuff in the back here. It's a really nice Fire King cup. early shaving mug with the roses. I have a lot of blue and white. Alright, I'm going to move this box over. I see something. Instant coffee maker. It's missing the screen though, I think. It's got the plunger, but no, uh, no screen to it. dish. That's kind of cool. That one's probably Korean or something. Oh, made in China. Nice and heavy. Those might be a winner. The post-its. Post-its and some wire. It's like a little cloisonne jar. I wonder if there's anything inside. Nope. It's nice though. actually something a little set there and I'm gonna get it. found this guy it's a the insect and spider uh, book he has the North American wildflower one too I 
maybe I'll get both. I always, I think I have one or two of those copies at home. I know there's a app now where you just take a picture of any leaf and it will tell you what it is. But take some of the fun out of it. I always find when you look it up with a book, you tend to remember what it was uh, next time you see it. A little bit more costume jewelry. A little locket's nice. necklaces. Right. Propane torch set. Mm. Mm. Smells like you guys don't have smell of vision but somebody knocked over a bottle of cologne. Oh. Man, it's stinky in there. I always like these enamel cooking trays. This one doesn't have any chips. It's or porcelain, maybe. I guess it's a porcelain enamel. But would look good. That would almost look good on Gabby's table. Those little uh, glass tiles. Today out here it's uh, close to 70 degrees. Uh, it's a print of a Gauguin. All right, I'm gonna go check two more boxes over here. Aviators, put those over here. I think I want to see what's in this box. Oh, some cool vintage clothes. Nice lucite uh, topped purse. Always done well with uh, vintage clothes. That's the one thing I always look for when I'm buying them is if it's a cotton base compared to a, like a nylon. Just because the cotton ones tend to, with a little bit of biz, you, you can get out most of these stains if you let it sit in biz. So they've always seemed to sell for me. Uh, I want to see what's inside this. This one feels like it's from the 40s. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out how to open it. I don't know. There it is. 
Oh, just some... I do like the mirror. Nice piece of cut glass. There's a lot of blue and white back here too. It seems really early. I like the cows. I'm not sure what that's for. Maybe it holds a teacup and a, or a coffee cup. Maybe it's like a saucer. And hmm. I think I'm gonna get this. I just really like the detail of the blue and white painting. boats oh they're uh somebody carved folk art boats <coughs> and made pins out of them that's pretty interesting all little rowboats and i guess this is a cream and sugar it's kind of fun too Very uh, mid-century modern. I think all three of those things I'm gonna I'm gonna get. It's made with. It's probably Murano glass. It's a dentist. He's got the tooth puller and the Novocaine shot. Uh. It just ended. Um, my camera kind of died. But I made it back. I ended up only spending twenty dollars on uh, the lights. This uh, I'm gonna guess that this is a blue saucer for a coffee cup. But if anybody knows what this is, please leave me a message. The definitely has some nice detail to it. Um, the sugar creamer. That's maybe one of my uh, favorite things I got today. But these folk art uh, wood carved boats um, that the guy made in the pins, such a such a good idea. It was uh, definitely a, a good craft. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I do something fun coming up uh, with all the stuff we have the craft with, and uh, definitely have a lot of organizing to do at the warehouse. So it will, uh, hopefully it will be interesting. I was happy with the, with all the, the flower book and the insect book. There's so many uh, invasives that probably aren't in here yet just because this is probably a, let's see what you're, it was printed in 2000. So it might not have uh, the spotted lantern fly and some of the other ones. But I was happy for the twenty dollars. It definitely uh, made my my afternoon. Hopefully, uh, you guys are having a safe day. And thank you very much for watching. Um, everybody, be safe out there, and we'll catch everybody next video. Peace. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the the peepers are out today. First first kind of warm day. I think all you're going to hear is the wind, though.